Okay, we are going to go through the process of installing eSword and installing custom modules, specifically the modules uh, I have made for Project LXX. This particular video is for the first book I've translated, the book of Genesis. So the first thing you need to do is get eSword. Go to eSword-net. And you go right here, click on this button, get the free Bible study software. And here is it. Here it is. You download it, install it, just follow the prompts. There's nothing you need to fill out. It's just free to do. And just as a quick note, you can go to BibleSupport.com and they got literally thousands of free eSword books, commentaries, dictionaries, and Bibles, all modules you can get for free. Uh, you do need to sign up get an account with them it doesn't cost anything but if you're going to download you got to be signed in to download and they got just about everything you can think of it would cost you thousands of dollars to get the same stuff you can get here for free on eSword to put into logos or many other bible software programs i'll put the links for eSword and bible support in the description below but this is about my custom module project LXX I built a website for it and this website is where you will go to get the latest downloads of course I got other things like history announcements and releases you'll find under here details about projects LXX including the rights and I'm releasing this under a Creative Commons license which means you have the right to uh, distribute it and you will come here to the downloads. If you want to know more about me, you can click on this right here. But you can come here to the downloads. And you'll see you got a link to get the eSource software and Bible support here. But right here, we'll always have the latest updates. Uh, the latest version of the module will be right here. I have currently have Genesis. I am uh, completed along with the commentary notes, translation notes. I am working on Exodus. I'm working on a few other things too, but anyhow, here's the download link. You'll get that. It's a, a Google Drive link, zip file. You unzip the files. And I'll show you that in just a minute, but you can so look at the other things I'm working at real quick. Book of Ephesians, Book of Philippians, Book of Jubilees. Those are uh, three things I'm currently translating to, and this is a, a book I wrote a while back. You can look at that if you want, but anyhow, you go into Downloads. Click the download link, it's a Google Drive link, and just click download. You'll download. And once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder. And here it is, right here. You unzip it. Just extract it right there. Now, this assumes that you have eSword installed. If you have eSword installed, I'm going to show you where it put it on your computer. But first, let's open this up. You'll see we have the Bible module. We have the commentary module. Bible module ending in BBLI. Commentary module ending in, ending in CMTI. This is the translation notes and commentary. eSword installed your stuff. You go to Windows. Go to Program x86. And you'll find a folder called eSword. And you're just going to simply drop these... These two files, these these two right here, you're going to drop them into eSword. That's all you need to do. Now, if you had eSword open, you would need to go ahead and close it and reopen it. And that way it can hook into those. And what you will see is you will see a tab here. Where is it at? LXXMET, for now anyway. That's what I'm calling it. And you come over here. You go to Genesis. And you'll notice it shows up here. This is the LXX translation. And on this side, you have LXX MET notes. Ignore these other LXX things. That's just I'm working on Exodus and testing Exodus out by itself. And then I will put it into this one when I'm done. But anyhow, you have LXX MET notes, LXX MET Bible. And let's say, just a little tour of the notes real quick. You'll notice 
the format is not consistent. I realize that. I was Genesis was my test book. I settled on something, and this is the format I settled on. But I'm not going to go back through all of Genesis and and do it going forward. This is kind of what I'm looking for. But you'll see I have deep word study, Greek key Greek terms and analysis from the LXX, some grammatical insights. Sometimes I have historical and cultural concepts, translation choices if uh, it's commonly translated something else, but the uh, Greek supports a little better way of saying it. Uh, some theological insights and commentary. And often I'll have messianic foreshadowing. Oh, I actually have it in this one right here, messianic foreshadowing, some more theological reflections, and, and probably a conclusion or some final thoughts, something like that. That's what you'll see throughout the book of Genesis. And so, it's my hope you will enjoy this. It will encourage you. You'll get something out of it. And you'll grow closer to the Lord and get to know Him a little bit better. That is my hope. So, once you've installed that into your PC folder, this is how you find it. Now, we're going to look at doing it on iPhone. Now, the best way I have found to install custom modules onto eSword on iPhone, I'm sure it works the same way with Android, is to have your files in the cloud somewhere. Mine's on OneDrive, and make sure you have access to those files. I'm going to go to OneDrive here. And I'm going to go to where I have my files at. And I'm going to go, where are they at? I'm going to install the Bible first. So you open up an LXX MET Bible. Click download. Watch what happens. This pops up for download. You'll scroll over. You have to have the eSword app. It costs like six or seven bucks. But you scroll over. Get it at the iPhone store, by the way. You scroll over and you just simply tap eSword. And once it shows up like this, that means it's installed it. Now, how can you know that it's installed? You come over here, scroll down. There's a couple ways to know. You go to look at installed. And here, where is that? I'm looking, I'm looking. There it is at the bottom. LXX Modern English, English Translation. That's it right there. If you ever wanted to delete it, you just tap it, hit your delete button up top here. But I'm just going to say done. And then another place where you find it, this is how you get it to actually show up on your phone. You go up here where you select your Bibles. And you can go down here. And because I only have Genesis available, the other book's going to show up. It's not in there. And there it is. That's the LXX translation. We're going to do the same thing for the commentary module. So let me close this. Go back to OneDrive. Go find where I have. Uh, there it is. LXX MET Notes. Download. Come over. Find my app. Tap it. And once it opens up like this, you'll see that you have it. How do we know? We can go again to installed. And right here, that shows that it's in there. It's under the com installed commentary section. I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to go over to commentary. Select from my commentaries here, and you'll see it's right there. And there's my Genesis 1 1 notes right there. And that's, that's all there is to it. So I hope this has helped you. And I hope you get something out of it. And may the Lord bless you. Now, Father, I just pray that you will give your people a hunger and a desire to get into your words. And really think about your word. And turn it over in their minds. and Connect the dots. 
because you promised to give them understanding. Lord, you promised in Ephesians to enlighten the eyes of our understanding that we may know you. And you've given us your word for us to get to know you. You take your word and you make the eternal things a reality for us. So I pray for the grace for each one of us listening. Father, that you just pour out that hunger for your word in our lives. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.